Good morning, Tube View. I finally figured out the date. It's Wednesday at the 15th of April. And I'm back at work. Another beautiful morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And so anybody out there who's new to this channel, these last five or six videos we've put up, this is not what the channel is about and what we normally do. I'm just trying to do a few vids while we're on lockdown. So if you are new, welcome. And you might want to go back through a few videos Let's have a look at just some of our camping trips and tours. Um, there is normally five of us in this group. We are, we are a forever growing group. Um, but obviously these last few videos you're only seeing one person, that's me. There's been the odd occasional video from Viper, our other member. He does a few videos, but um, the others are mainly silent um, unless we're out on tour. So unfortunately, and I keep pressing you on, you'll only get to see and hear my ugly mush. Craig, where are you going? You're going the motorway route? Oh my god, it started already. So yeah, so um, welcome to this very strange world we are in at the moment. I'm now coming up to night 14. Night 14, living in the back garden in a tent with my little son. And he's absolutely loving it. We've got Netflix in there, Amazon Prime, YouTube, Pringles, Jammy Dodgers, double chocolate chip cookies, milk. We've got everything. And also, we will be visiting there. And also, we will be visiting. Oh, Jesus! And also, we will be visiting our Dream Tours this morning. So our Dream Tours is on my way to work. I dream us up a little tour we're going on, just to take the blues away. And just to cheer everybody else up and imagine life is back to normal. But I'll discuss that in a minute and I'll be foot freezing already. Right, now I don't know if anybody else has got this same issue. I've got some... RST Track Tech 2 Evo boots, I think they're called. Track Tech 2. I had the Track Tech 1 and I set them back because all the Velcro come off down the side. That was they were completely fine about it. So I said, no problem, we will send you out a new pair. But obviously we don't do version ones anymore, we've got version twos, so are you happy to have a pair of those? I said, yeah, no problem. So they sent me out. I've got them on. But what keeps happening with these, the zips keep bursting open. I've had it on both boots. And I don't know why, because the boots, they're not tight around the ankle. They're quite loose, actually, around the ankle. But they just keep bursting. As soon as like, you bend your foot and it creases up the boot, the zip bursts open. And so my right foot at the moment... I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I can get the camera down there. The inside, the zip's open now. So all I'm getting is a blast of cold air right in my boot. So when I get to work, I don't going to be able to feel my right foot. So I don't know if anybody else has had this problem. The zips just don't seem to be strong enough. And I've had it on both boots, they'll just burst open. I've tried to repair the zip on the right foot, thinking some of the teeth might be loose on the zip further down, so I stitched across them, so we'd stitch the zip together, but it's just burst open further up, so I'm not happy with them, I'm not impressed. Obviously, once they sent out these boots to me, they didn't make me aware of that. Obviously, because you've had a new pair of boots free, you no longer have any more warranty. So, in other words, I'm stuck with these now. But no, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the zip on them. Best boots I had are the ones which are um, Goosewares, which are the Cities. 
I do like city boots, so I might have to look at replacing these boots. I'm not happy at all with them. Okay, we're going to follow up from update. God's sake, Craig, you can tell it's early in the morning. Your brain don't work, don't work most of the time. Right. A follow on from yesterday. I had my email from BQ to say my item is ready for collection. They sent me the email after the store had closed. So I've now got to try and collect it today after work. So five days that took. And yesterday, whilst out getting some supplies from the shops, some essentials, I found an hardware shop just round the corner from me. What's open? And what does he sell? He sells all kinds of plumbing equipment you could imagine and connectors. So. I've waited five days, I could have got it from around the corner. That'll teach you. Did I just... No, I didn't go through a red light then. I thought I did. Well, I'll watch this back and I'll see if I did. I don't think I did. I noticed the other cars behind me were following. So it tells me I didn't. I did, did you? God, these goddamn roads. Disgraceful. Right, so our dream tours for today. So, as we are here again, the sun is shining. Nobody's got any worries in the world. Everything's nice. Everything's happy. Everyone feels relaxed. We're setting off on tour. I look in my mirror. I can see the boys are behind on the bikes. We're all in convoy. Convoy, convoy. And we're all heading south. And we're heading to the ferry. Because today, people, we are going to the beautiful, sunny Isle of Wight. We're going to meet up with Oil and Biker there. It's going to be a glorious weekend camping, so sit back. Have a drink, a coffee, an alcoholic beverage, whatever takes your fancy, and unwind as we hit the coastal roads around the Isle of Wight. A 
So I hope you enjoyed that little tour around the Isle of Wight. We had an absolute blast of a time there. It was absolutely brilliant. Really, really enjoyed that. And what a top bloke, Mr. Island Biker is. So we hope to return there one day soon for another tour and get a few of you motor revers out there with us. See if we can fill that campsite all on our own. Make your mind up, mate. Which lane do you want? This one or that one? Don't tell me, you're on your phone. <laughs> Dead. On his phone. So we're coming up to work. See what today has in store for us. So, I'll see you all in about seven hours' time on the journey home. Have a nice day in the sun. Well, that's me done for the day. To come out to beautiful sunshine and 18 degrees. So we're going to see if my little invention works here. I've made a little wind deflector on the corner of the GoPro. So I'll just put the little video up now I did while I was in work. So I'm going to try this little invention out today on the way home. That little bit of blue plastic there. Just to see. There's the microphone. Just to see if that shields the wind. I can't come out any further than that. Because the camera picks it up. If that works, we'll come up with an invention. And my theory is the microphone is at this top left corner, and I think the wind's curling round it. So I'm just going to see if that makes any difference. I don't think it's going to, but have a look at the video. So there we go. That's been it all mod. So I'm not sure if it's going to work. We will soon find out when I edit this. So that's me done for the day. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the Isle of Wight. 
and I hope my little camera deflector worked. So until the next one, stay safe if you're out, ride safe, enjoy the sun while you're here, even if it's in your garden. So peace out everybody, catch you on the next VT. Feels like I'm serving a life sentence here. Let me out of here! So what's going on here then? They've got the pole out. Until the next chapter, three, two, one, bye.